So life would be boring if all we do is model parts all day. Why don't we look at creating some assemblies? When I put an assembly together in SOLIDWORKS, I try to put it together like I would put it together in real life. Bolts go into holes, faces are in a made up coincident, that means touching. Once we have our skateboard done, why don't we just add the trucks and the hardware? But just like starting a part, we may need to think a little bit about how we start our assembly. What's our main component? The board. So we'll start with that. So there are a couple ways to get started. But let's go with the easy way. In the drop down next to the icon where we started a new part earlier, we're going to use the option to pull this part into a new assembly. I'm going to say OK to the default assembly template. And we need to come in and change an option. I like to turn on the graphics preview. That way we can actually see the board coming in. Now here's where we need to slow down. I've seen so many people get this next step wrong. If I just click in space, it will drop the board wherever I put it. But maybe we want to think about where it goes. The easiest thing is just to come over and hit the green check mark. And what that will do is it will line up the front top and right planes of our part with the front top and right planes of our assembly and lock the skateboard in place. If we want to add additional components, we can go to the assembly toolbar and use the insert components icon. And here, if we browse, we can actually take a look at the files that you can download with these videos. If we look at the folder structure, I've got different things in different folders. In number four skateboard assembly, I've actually got a file for the trucks. We can click open and then come in. And here we can just place them kind of close to where we want them to go. So remember back at the part level, we use dimensions and relations to define our sketch. Here at the assembly, we're going to use mates to locate our parts. Mates between faces can include things like coincident, where things are touching, or concentric, where they share the same center. So just like in real life, the top face of our trucks would be coincident with the bottom of the board, and then we just line up some of the holes. So we need to move the trucks into a closer position where they line up with the bottom of our part. Remember back at the part level, we used to use the middle mouse button to rotate things around. We can do that here too. But if we want to move and rotate the trucks, then we can use other buttons on the mouse. The left mouse button, if we click and drag the trucks, will move them. If we right click and drag, it lets us come in and rotate these around. I want this little center piece to be pointing towards the middle of our board. As we add mates, we'll eliminate the ways that our parts can move. We can keep adding mates until the minus sign goes away, just like fully defining our sketches. Up on the assembly toolbar, the mate tool looks like a paper clip. We can pick the top face of our trucks and then rotate around and pick the bottom face of our skateboard. The default option that comes up here is a coincident mate. We can click OK. From here, even if I'm in the mate tool, if I left click and drag, I can drag the trucks you know, to a closer location. And now we're going to come in and we're going to you know, be careful not to pick the edge. I usually like to use faces when I'm mating. I'm going to choose that face and that face. And the default option here is concentric. Say OK to that. Now, if I left click and drag, the only way that this can move is by pivoting there. One more mate. That face and that face concentric. And say OK. Now, if we look over at the feature manager tree, the minus sign is gone for our trucks. So we need another set of trucks on the other end of the board. How do we get another copy of that part into our assembly? One easy way is to come in and do a control drag. We're going to select on the trucks and drag another copy into the assembly. So we can either do that from the feature manager tree or from the graphics area. We can rotate this around facing the other way. 
then we can just add the same mates. So the mate tool between uh, it's a different face, we'll do that face and that face coincident. Move it over here and we'll do that face and that face concentric. And one more, take that face and that face concentric. Not too bad. Now, do we need hardware? We've got some screw holes here on our board that attaches them to the trucks. So the nice thing about two of the levels of SOLIDWORKS software, it comes with a nuts and bolts library. We can browse to it over on the right side of our feature manager tree and look in the toolbox. But there's an easier way. Uh, how about we look at the easy way today? If we click on the top of the skateboard, then we can use the Smart Fasteners button up on the assembly toolbar. This may take a second for the calculations, but it's actually pretty quick. And so remember, we put the holes in based on a number one flathead screw. Well, it actually came in and pulled in eight of those screws the right length to put the rest of our assembly together. We can go ahead and say OK to that. And now we've got hardware in our assembly. Ta-da. All done. Well, except for saving the assembly. So maybe if we come in and hit the save button, we can come in and call this skateboard assembly with your name on it. I'm going to have a finished version of all this in that same assembly folder that you can refer back to if you need to.